Hi everyone, TSW here, and in this video, I'm going to be looking at this best in slot pre raid list from wowtbc.gg. I know this website is very new, and I'm just trying to not AFK uh, get kicked from this BG. <laughs> Awkward. Um, but yeah, I'm looking at this website, and they have a best in slot. Uh, pre-raid list which I'm looking at and I don't agree with a lot of these points some of it's fine but some bits just don't make sense to me so having played on private servers for the last eight years as a protection warrior I thought I'd make a video and uh, give my uh, my thoughts so starting off with the helmet they're using um, a faceplate of the termination which is an interesting pick because if we jump onto a browser and oh, let's go to wowhead Let's go to actual wowhead and it'll tell us which patch this helmet comes out in this is patch 2.1 here so this is when tier 6 drops so this will be phase 3 so i don't know 100 percent when this helmet is going to be released in tbc um but it's something to take note of that patch 2.1 is black temple patch so phase 4 this helmet wasn't in the game in TBC retail. Tier 5, this wasn't available in the game. Patch 2.1, when Black Temple and Mount Hijal dropped, this helmet was in the game. So I don't know if we're going to get this helmet earlier than that or what, but it doesn't make sense because they've got better helmets already. We've got um, Helm of the Stalwart, uh, Stalwart Defender, which is this one. So I had a little look... Um, on the stream just before I am streaming whilst I'm making this video I thought that I had a quick discussion with the stream and it's a case of there's no competition between these two helmets this is a blacksmith crafted helmet which gives you 47 stamina plus 12 stam 12 stam 12 stam from the gems and that equals uh, 36 76 83 stamina and this one gives you 63 stamina, right? So you get 20 more stamina with Helm of the Stalwart Defender. You also get a lot more armor, approximately 230 more armor. Okay. And this one gives you resilience, which reduces your chance to be crit more than defense rating. So this is a really good high stam, high armor helmet that just drops your chance to be crit by a huge amount. And early on, getting crit immune is massive. I don't care about the shield block rating. I don't care about 1% dodge. I don't care about the measly, you know, defense rating that it has on it. It's got you know a decent amount of defense rating, but it does not compare to the Brazil and defense rating. This helmet is poo in comparison. Excuse my strong strong words if any children are watching. Okay, so the next item I want to look at. So according to me, Helm of Stalwart Defender is BIS by far. This is, in my opinion, better than tier four. And, you know, rivals tier five to an to an extent. Okay, next item is um, necklace of the juggernaut which is a good good neck it's from badge vendor uh, which as far as i know is available at, it's just the helmets that aren't available at launch uh, you need to wait until 2.1 for the helmets so this neck is good i can't really complain about the neck uh, good pick i like it uh, so fan blade shoulders these shoulders are good these are best in slot pre-raid these are really nice shoulders um, but it's hard to talk about the shoulders and not talk about the uh um, shoulders that are um, similar so shoulder, shoulder guards of the bold are very similar the only thing that shoulder guards of the bold lack is the parry rating essentially that um, these fan blade shoulder, uh, pauldrons have also uh, you have very similarly the dungeon uh, set for the paladin uh, which again is very similar it's just got uh, spell damage on instead of uh, strength okay so the shoulders are okay. Again, so far it's just the helmet I disagree with. So going down the list more, we have the cloak, devil shark cape. And this is a fine cape. I do like this cloak a lot. I'm glad to see it here. Nothing wrong with that. They've gone for the dodge enchant. Another enchant you could have is the um, one from uh, armor from uh, enchanter. Uh, next on the table is jade skull breastplate. Now I disagree with this one a lot. Um, we've got the, what's it, of the bold. Uh, this is from Arcatraz normal mode. This chest, I just, I don't understand why they've gone for this chest piece. So Breastplate of the Bold has 33 stamina plus 3 st uh, stamina gems, which would be 12. So 12, 24, 36. 
So we have a total of 69 stamina, nice, versus 50 stam. So Breastplate of the Bold wins in regards to stamina. They have the same armor. And just straight up, you don't care about the shield block rating. Again, you didn't care about shield block rating up here. You don't care about shield block rating down here. The, the defense, you get a bit more defense. I'll admit that on the Jade Skull Breastplate. But again, like it doesn't it doesn't make up for the fact that it's just like just a straight up higher stamina item with equal armor. Um, what also I find interesting is the fact that they've gone for the blacksmithing wrists, which I do agree with being best in slot, but they haven't gone for the blacksmithing helmet. Like, I don't understand. Like, they're forking out gold for the blacksmith uh, wrists, but not for the helmet. Now, these wrists, I, again, I agree, are best in slot. These are good braces. Good to see them. Uh, next, we have the fell steel brace, braces, fell steel gloves, rather. These are very good gloves. High defense, high stamina, high armor. Other ones that you can uh, look at are of the bold as well of the bold uh, these ones have a little bit more stamina but they the, the lack of armor you do lose armor going for the uh, gauntlets of the bold if you um, avoid getting the fell steel gloves and also the fell steel gloves gives a nice amount of defense rating now at some point defense rating does become important obviously to become crit immune so sometimes you'll be forced to wear a higher defense rating item simply because you need to be uncritable now, again, giving praise again, this belt is really good. Um, this is by far best in slot. It's a high stamina belt from Slave Pen's Heroic, and it also has two gem slots, which you would put gems in for more stamina. Boom. Nice, nice belt. The only other belts you have are the one that I think I'm wearing here on this server. Yep, Fearless Girdle. This is from Zangmarsh, and you also have the one from the Architrize Key Quest as alternatives which don't compare to this belt really good belt uh, next you have time warden's leggings these are really good legs very high stamina very easy to get the only required keeps the time revered which you're probably going to get revered anyway if you want the avoidance helm enchant at some point at least really solid legs the only legs that would compare to these are fell steel legs so we can just quickly look at fell steel legs pardon me that this isn't a uh, a fully edited video uh Oh, they're not called legs. Fell steel. I don't know what they're called. Fell steel something. Uh, item sets. Uh, items. Okay. Fell steel leggings. Here they are. So fell steel has a lot more, like what, not like two hundred more armor. Nice. Um, but they do lack in the in the department of stamina. However, I would wear fell steel leggings if I had them available, and um, I needed the defense rating. So. I think fell steel leggings are probably one of the first items I'd throw on if I needed the extra defense rating because they do compete quite well with the Time Warden's leggings um, against physical bosses at least because the bump in armor really do make them competitive with the Time Warden's leggings. Okay, next we have the Boots of Colossus from Mana Tomb's Heroic. These are really good uh, boots. They're, much, well, they're, they're quite a bit better than anything else you'll have access to unless you are running Ramparts Normal and get the Ramparts Normal ones. Um, but this is an instance that you want to do very early on. This could be a good video, actually. What would I like... You know, what instances would I prioritize if I was you know, wanting to gear myself up for Carver or something? So these are really good for, from the first boss in Mana Tombs. So, yeah, this, I mean, I could go on about how good Mana Tombs is as a raid for tanking, but I'll shut up and just talk about this. <laughs> Let's cover this video topic first. So, yeah, these, these boots are great. Two gem slots, decent. I, I've used these boots for a very long time because I tend to use these as my nature res boots just because I put on an extra um nature uh, resist enchant on them just so they you know i'm wearing these like late into the game just to get an extra they're my second pe my second boots for a long time you know my, my my secondary boots just to have an extra a different enchant so the lower city ring is really fantastic expertise is a stat that you will be chasing for the whole of the expansion more or less as a warrior tank very good ring you don't need to prioritize getting lower city exalted um, but it is something to you know have in the back of your mind and if people in the um, guild that you're in need mana tombs for gear or attunements don't feel bad about going because it will keep giving you lower city rep until you're exalted pretty nice speaking of mana tombs it's such a nice instance for tanks uh, this ring is very good it's a hit rating defense ring which is great it's ticking two things off your box if you're concerned about threat the hit is nice and the, the defense rating continues to keep you crit immune very very nice one thing i also don't understand is they've got items here again that are patch 2.1 the helmet 
but they've got so this character assumes that you're engineering so we've got engineering trinkets and it's wearing a helmet from patch 2.1 but you've also got the engineering helmet which is added in patch 2.1 i'll show you on uh, this server like this is the engineering helmet tankatronic goggles this is a much better helmet than the one that they're saying you should be wearing here so you're wearing engineer so you have engineering because you got the trinkets fine but so, and you're wearing a patch 2.1 helmet i could imagine like i could understand if they're wearing the helmet of the stealth defender because this is a, a helmet that you can get on launch and you have to wait for this helmet but you're not wearing the engineering helmet anyway that doesn't really follow through for me anyway uh, uh continuing on the sun eater this is a really good weapon it's quite it's an it's an epic so it's going to have good um damage on it um the sun eater is also a very good avoidance weapon because most weapons almost all weapons um that have defense rating on it have a second stat for threat whether it be defense rating and hit defense rating and expertise that sort of thing um so this is one of the very few tank items with defense rating that has a dodge or an avoidance or something that isn't threat so this ultimately leads it to be one of the best avoidance weapons as well in the game so you don't necessarily want to just vendor it as soon as you get uh, king's defender or mile to the tide just because in some circumstances if you do want to go for a avoidance build you can pop on your uh, your sun eater and start avoiding things nice but yeah this is good really good if you can get this early on particularly as human very nice and then we have um azure shield of Koldara. this is best in slot just um i do really like the shatar exalted um shield as well we'll show this off quickly i don't like this song uh where we're we going we're going to reputation factions and we're going to shatar and just in case you're unfamiliar crest of the shatar so you've got two blue slot gems bung in a load of um stamina nice everybody wins um but the extra armor you get on a higher item level shield that is shield um azure shield of Koldara is better overall and then we have again gyro balance core destroyer this is a gun that's added in the game in patch 2.1 so phase three uh black T black temple mount, mount harjal uh, patch again i don't know why we're not wearing an engineering helmet here or any other better helmet because there are better helmets in the game even on launch let alone patch 2.1 yet we're wearing a patch 2.1 gun okay um and there's some extra notes about other gear as well and also if you do the i've not looked at this yet if you press the tab it shows you things here so it even acknowledges that helmet stop defender is here and it's saying it's worse like i don't understand um what other items did i disagree with um the chest piece like again it's it's saying that the gladiator breastplate is better and yes i agree the a lot of the arena gear is very good for tanking uh, just because it's high stamina high armor and also resilience so high crit reduction so that's very important as well particularly for fights like hydros when you're wearing lots of nature res gear that may have very limited or no defense rating at all you're left open to be crit and the pvp gear can really help reduce that crit chance because resilience reduces your crit chance a lot more than defense rating because defense rating increases your block chance your parry chance your dodge chance and also the chance of the target to miss you it does all those wonderful things resilience only does the only thing that a warrior is concerned about for resilience is um the reduced crit damage if you're pvping or the crit chance as a tank so it's more two-dimensional in that sense um what else didn't i like um what else for the gun like the gun's awkward what we should have here in my opinion is a just a level 70 or any like kind of like random enchant weapon so if you get a level 70 throwing weapon ideally i really like throwing weapons because you can pull with them a lot quicker you don't need to draw the bow or cock the gun or whatever it is you're doing and that takes time and then the shot goes off and you pull whereas a throwing weapon you you pull it almost immediately when you use your keybind um so yeah a green level 70 or any green of stamina or of the champion of stamina is just pure stamina that's very nice very high stamina weapon straight away um or of the champion is very useful because that's stamina strength and defense rating or of defense is also very good because it's just your thrown weapon and it, you use it essentially as a stat stick in the same way that hunter uses their weapon ultimately as a stat stick if they're not weaving in melee hits 
you're wearing it just for that extra defense rating that crit reduction so you can wear stamina in your other slots uh, let's just go through the other items as well quickly what other items do they have for the neck piece um, they don't have the quest reward one that I was expecting. I can't remember what the quest chain is called, but there's um, there's an is it a scryer only neck you can get? But there's also an equivalent with the exact same stats in Blades Edge Mountains. That's interesting. I'm getting invited to a group. Cool. Um, shoulders again. I agree with these shoulders. Oh yeah, these shoulders are also cool. These have more stamina. These are from Heroic Sethicals. Um Sorry, they have more armor. I misspoke. Whoops. Um, but yeah, these ones win overall because they have the, the stamina of these because of the gem slots more than outweighs them being better just because of the extra armor on uh, the Sethic Horse Heroic ones. Uh, cloak. I don't need to say anything about the cloak. Um, one cloak that is interesting, actually, again, isn't here, is the Resilience Cloak that you can craft from a leather worker. Uh, let's see if I can find it here quickly. Crafting... Leatherworking, uh, Master. It's the one that Druids like with extra armor. Now this is one of the items that if you can get early on, you can wear a lot of your tier three gear. Um, and with the extra resilience of this cloak, um, it opens you up to still being okay to wear your level 60 gear. Um, but the problem will be trying to get the cloak pattern to drop on launch. I uh, can't seem to find it. I know there's someone who's probably watching the video thinking, oh, I saw it, you went past it, you missed it. And I'm like, yeah, I did miss it. Uh, I genuinely genuinely can't find it. It's not a, It's definitely not a leatherworking cloak. Well, this is getting awkward. I'm just wasting your time now trying to find this cloak. Uh, it's the one that the druids like wearing because it's got bonus armor and resil on. Hmm, can't find it, I'm sorry about that. Okay, uh, chest piece we've looked at. Braces, again, these are the quest braces I was, I was comparing them to. These are really easy to get. You're going to get these anyway doing your Kara attunement. So you'd be upgrading these to your fortress ones. So yeah, if you have if you have the gold, get braces of the fortress, green fortress. Gloves we've spoken about. Oh, these are the ones also that are very good. Gauntlets of the Iron Tower. These are fantastic gloves because again, they have resilience on, which means that it's really good crit reduction oh resolute cape thank you so much um uh rhyme csgo thank you i'm streaming this currently on twitch link in the description a resolute cape oh it is tailoring i can tell it's a tailoring pattern oh, i'm sorry so yeah this is the cloak that is really nice uh, it's got high stam high armor cool two of the best stats for tanking as well as a good chunk of resilience which will reduce your crit chance a lot thank you so much twitch chat i owe you one Belt, again, this belt is better by far than any of the others. It doesn't show the quest item one that I showed. I don't know why. Uh, legs, yeah, these are good. So a fell steel, really good. Uh, these boots, yeah, there's no, not much contention for these boots. Um, these are the ones from Mana Tomb's quest, which are an easy guaranteed drop because it's from a quest reward. Oh, these are also good from Shadow Labs. No defense rating, but lots of good armor these are high level boots so they naturally have a high armor as well as gem slots that you can put stamina in if you are crit immune or defense uh, gems if you uh, need the uh crit immune still uh sneaky funk thank you for the follow rings yeah happy about the rings uh trinkets yeah this trinket isn't in the game until patch 2.1 i don't know why it's here again this website again i'm i'm not knocking this website Although I am, I, I don't mean to because this is a pretty fresh website. You know, I'm sure they're going to fix this hopefully uh, soon. The website is wowtbc.gg for those of you who can't see the URL. I'll link it in the description. Yeah, but this trinket isn't in the game until patch 2.1 phase 3. Don't know why it's here. Although it is a really good trinket. Okay, and then these trinkets with defense rating or this one with stam and resil. Good for if you're wanting to, again, reduce your crit chance. Uh, weapons, what do we have here? Yeah, I mean, they've just picked random epic weapons, it looks like. like not, not like... Uh, I mean, I could talk about weapons for ages. I'll save it for later. And then shields. We've got Quest of the Shatar. Uh, yeah, the Gladiator shield is very good as well. Okay, well, I think that wraps it up. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up. Well done for making it to the end of the video as well. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe for more TBC content. And I'll catch you later.
Thanks for watching. Bye.